Pair summer games are not over quite yet. The Paralympics begin in about two weeks. Minnesota athletes once again are making a name for themselves on Team USA. WCCO's Mary Lyle Mose introduces us to two members of the sitting volleyball team. As soon as I was like, I'm capable of hard things. I can do anything I set my mind to. My life completely changed. Lexi Shiflett made the U.S. national team when she was only 16. In that time, she's won two Paralympic gold medals with the U.S. sitting volleyball team, one in Rio and the other in Tokyo. I am incredibly honored to do it again. The Wasika native was born with a congenital condition that required a knee amputation as a baby. I've never learned how to walk with two feet. Still, she played club and high school volleyball in her small southern Minnesota town like any other student athlete would. And those skills helped prepare her for sitting volleyball at the elite level. You're just translating everything from your hips and up down to the floor and your hands are your feet. <laughs> She's not the only Minnesotan on the national team anymore. Mackenzie Franklin, who grew up in Cannon Falls, fought to make the team in January of last year after her life drastically changed. September of 2020, uh, me and my now fiance were in a motorcycle accident um, where I ended up losing my left leg above the knee. A volleyball player before her accident, she was determined to keep playing the sport she loves. It's important to take it as it is and face it head on and choose to take the good out of it. She was selected as an alternate for the Paris Paralympic team. Now with bigger goals on the horizon, all while still maintaining a full-time job as a veterinarian in Red Wing. I am very determined for LA 2028. Marielle Mose. You should just start living now and not wait for something traumatic to happen to you. WCCO News. The USA sitting volleyball team will play the first match exactly two weeks from today, Thursday, August 29th. And good luck.